Hi and welcome and thank you for joining. Today I'm going to be going over how to format a table in Microsoft Word 2016. If you don't know how to create a table in Microsoft Word 2016, I'd recommend watching my video on creating a table. Uh, however, this one is going to build off of that video, so let's get started. Alright, so we see my Word document is right here, and I'm going to zoom in on the table below. So we see the tables right here. Now, We've already talked about how to create a word or a, a table in Word. Now let's go over formatting. Now, first thing I want to do is insert a table here. Let's say I filled this table out. I forgot that. Oh, you know what? I actually had another job listing here, and so I want to actually add in another table above software developer. Sorry, another row above software developer. So right here, software developer. I could actually go to the top left of that row and I'll see a plus sign. If I click that plus sign, we'll see a new row appears. Then all you have to do is fill out your information within that row. Okay, so that's how you build a new row uh, very quickly. Now remember, whenever you're filling out information, you're going to want to press tab to move forward, and you're going to want to press shift tab to move backwards. But that's all covered in my last video. So I fill out my information here. Now let's go actually actually deeper into how to format this table. Now what I want to do next is I want this table to uh, basically look like it was uh, it's not too big. We see how the columns here are all the same size, but we see on this location column in particular most of the text is pretty short compared to the size of the column. So what I'm going to do now is called auto fitting. Okay, and so if you've used Excel before, you might also notice that this is a similar technique. Uh, that we use in Excel. So uh, first thing I want to do is select the entire table. Now many people make the mistake of trying to highlight through the table that way and then you get some of your text in it like we see here or you try to highlight through here which is fine but the easiest way to actually select your table is if you have the table selected meaning you're clicked within your table and you see your blinking cursor then you could actually click on this icon right here in the top left of the table. And if you click that, it's going to highlight everything within the table, and now your table is selected. All right, so your table's now selected, and we see up here a table tools design and a table tools layout tab are now available. Inside the table tools layout tab, we see the cell size group right here, and then we see auto fit button. This will automatically resize the columns in your table. So if I click right here on auto fit, and we see right here is auto fit contents. This is going to auto fit the contents within that table into, uh, it's going to auto fit it just like that so that you don't have that extra space either uh, on the top, bottom, left, or right of your cells. Okay, so we see that our table's now much smaller in uh, terms of width. So I wanna center the table. So I'm gonna go to the home tab and I'm gonna go to paragraph group and I'm gonna click on center. Okay, and that'll give that table a centered look on our page and make it look more visually appealing to us. So, now that the table's centered, everything's looking good there. Now we look at our table and we see that the spacing is not quite how we want it. Everything looks a little jammed up, right? We don't see much space before or after the words uh, or cells within our table. So we can uh, actually adjust that spacing in Microsoft Word by going to our Home tab and inside our paragraph group. In the bottom right of that group, you'll see this little paragraph uh, settings dialog box launcher. And right there, you click that little icon and it's going to bring up this paragraph dialog box. And so in here, we could uh, look at our indents and spacing, which is what we're interested in. And specifically right down here with spacing. And if uh, I change before and after, to more than zero, so let's say six points on each, That's what that's going to do is increase the spacing before each row and increase the spacing after each row. So I'm gonna do it by six points right there and I click okay. And now we see that there are more, uh, there's more space above and below each of the uh, contents within our cells, okay? So that's how you increase that spacing. Uh, that's going to be a more accurate and, um, uh, effective way than dragging uh, in the bottom right. You typically don't want to do that. So there we go. Uh, we've increased the spacing. So now what we're going to do is talk about the borders of our uh, table here. So we see our table has borders between each 
row and each column. So let's say you don't want to have those borders anymore or you want to set up custom borders. Oftentimes it's best to just get rid of the borders entirely and then customize the borders after that. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And uh, so here's what we're going to do. So we see that whenever our table is selected, we have the design tab and also the layout tab. And so in the design tab here, we see a borders group. And if we click the borders arrow right below the, uh, the borders button right there, we see that we have all these different borders options. Now, first thing I like to do is whenever I uh, am editing borders and I know I want it to look a certain way is to get rid of all of the borders. So after I click that button, I click on no border right there. And so I click no border. Okay, now we see those borders are gone. And so now I can customize them as I want to. So with this one, I wanna have a top border and a bottom border. So what I can do is I could click on that arrow again and I could actually customize the way that the borders are being shown. So I'm gonna go down here all the way to the bottom where it says borders and shading and I'm gonna click borders and shading. And then inside here, I see the borders uh, tab and now I can actually adjust that. So let's say I want the width to be one point on this. So this is your different width options right here. I click that first before I click any of the other border options. Okay, so I click on one point and then right here is going to be where I can select my border. So a top border, I just click right there at the top and a bottom border, I would click right there at the bottom. Okay, and so then I would click okay and we see now we have a one point border at the top and the bottom, okay? So now what I wanna do is actually uh, adjust and do some formatting on the actual uh, rows themselves. So most of the time with a, uh, with a table, you're going to want the top rows to be either titles or um, you're going to want them to be shown as headings, right? And so the way that we could do this is actually adjust that top row because we don't want our viewers to confuse that top row with actual data or in this case, the job postings themselves, right? So uh, oftentimes people want to come in and they highlight one and then they do the editing and then they go through and they do all three of them individually. We're actually not going to do that here. I'm gonna show you how to edit them all at once. So to select the first row of, da of data here, I'm gonna go just to the right of the, uh, or excuse me, just to the left of the row itself to where I see the white uh, cursor pointing to the right rather than to the left. And if I click, it highlights all three. So I wanna bring a little bit of attention to this particular column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bold those letters, or sorry, those cells and I'm gonna center them as well. So just bold and center them, that's control B, or you go to the home tab, font group, bold, and then home tab, paragraph group, center, or control E, okay? And so that's going to basically bring attention to that, uh, that particular row. Now what I wanna do is create a title row. Okay, and so the title row, let's say I wanted to have the same formatting as this one. Now, I remember earlier I showed you how to uh, go to uh, click the plus sign. I'm going to show you another way to do that now. Now, as long as I have the uh, blinking cursor within that first row, if I see over here in the table tools layout tab, under the rows and columns group, I could actually click insert above. Okay, so this is another way that we can insert rows and columns into our uh, table. And so I click insert above and we see a new row is now inserted in. Now, there we go, we see this row. And now uh, if, let's say I wanted to, uh, let's say that I insert this row and I had everything selected, right? Um, and for some reason it didn't, um, it wasn't merged and centered. Like see how these are three separate, uh, three separate cells here. I could actually just merge those cells to make them one, similar to how we would in Microsoft Excel. So I'd go to the Table Tools Layout tab, the Merge group, and I'd click Merge Cells. Now that's just going to create one cell. Now I could type in my title for this. So let's say it's Computer Science Listings. For the week of April 11. Oops. 
All right, so there we go. Now I can see that each one has its own, um, it's, it's rather just one cell rather than all three of them. And so it looks like a title. And there we go. So now we've formatted our table to look a lot different from when we first started. So hopefully that goes over a little bit about what you needed to know about inserting cells, as well as formatting the actual uh, borders themselves, removing them, adding in a custom border, and then also uh, merging cells and uh, formatting the actual data within the cell. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe. And if you have any other questions or video requests, please add it to the comment section below. Thank you so much.